again. Um, so those who haven't experienced um, chronic illness, of course you can't understand it uh, perfectly because if you haven't experienced it, you don't know what it is. But uh, what I know myself and what a lot of other people experience is that um, people kind of think it's like uh, when you get the flu or uh, any other short times illnesses and um, like there's per they're, they're expecting you to uh, get better somehow well that's not chronic illness then wouldn't it wouldn't be chronic and <laughs> um, and also they kind of expect you, or if, if you not get better they kind of expect you to handle it better and somehow yes you can't handle it better you can uh, get used to handling stuff uh, like you're handling other stuff so you kind of uh, getting used to the pain or you're getting used to feeling tired all the time and work through it uh, but you're still gonna have it it's still gonna be there you kind of get better at acting uh, and that's what people don't understand uh, they they think you're gonna get better or so when you have a bad day and like why again why uh, and you uh, and, uh, uh, and you kind of get used to um, having to uh, cancel on plans and uh, you don't want to say you're sick because you don't want to be that sick person all the time you're that one um, um, Uh, but yeah, so, and then when you have a good day, they're like, they're using that good day against you. Um, so you can't really win. Uh, you, if you have a good day, they're like, why, but you're good now. Why, what's the problem? Why, why, uh, what's, what's, what's it about? Um, so then like, are you really sick? Uh, if you don't take or you don't feel any pain or you have energy for once and like why what's wrong with you now what's why can why can you have a good day now what i thought you said it was chronic everything varies it goes up and downs for everyone and, and so even though you have a good day where you, because you're used to handling stuff so when you have a good day you, and you just have a little bit of pain or you're just a little bit tired you feel super elevated because well it's such a good day and just i just feel a little bit of pain uh, but you're still having pains or you're still having uh, issues or ticks or whatever is your problem. So you can't really, you can't really win having a chronic illness. Uh, I feel that's, it's so unfair. Uh, and also you have to cancel on all, all the things. You have to plan all the time. You have to, um, You have to be the one who's, who's yeah, yeah, okay, when I'm going to be active and give me social this day, uh, some may, might need a day or two or three or a week uh, where I can't do other things uh, because you're going to get exhausted or I can only have one thing that day depending on how bad you feel. So sometimes I can have something every day, but I can only be one hour a day uh, and then I have to rest. Um, or if I'm going to go shopping one day because I need food. Uh, I might not be able to do something else the rest of the day. Uh, and people don't understand. I'm like, why well, you haven't really done anything today? Yes, I had done something today. I've been showering. I've been getting food. I've been walking my dogs. Uh, and this is kind of uh, normal stuff for everyone else that you don't really have to think about it. You just do it. Uh, but when you have a chronic illness or um, something that uh, takes a lot of energy out of your day, this is a lot. This is like the big steps. This is uh, whatever uh, you, you have to plan all your energy to actually get done the things you need to do. Uh, and people who haven't experienced real chronic illness will never understand that. blind yeah uh, just a second I know a lot of people with Tourette's have uh, chosen to uh, quit 
so you can't really see all the text. Uh, I choose to let them be here because I want to see people. But I want people to see uh, what it can really be about. So some names, like now, I only have a little bit more motor text, uh, which doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, but sometimes you will see like bigger text, on, and also have text that can go on for quite a bit of time. Uh, sometimes it looks like I'm possessed. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not. Uh, I've heard people uh, have ticks where they say they have the demon in them. Um, Woo! That's funny! Uh, and I look like I have a demon in me. <laughs> so I, I'm sure if I if this was like 100, 200 years ago, I would definitely then... Uh, they would definitely lock me up or uh, uh, have an exorcist come take out the demon in me or whatever devil or whatever so I'm glad it's 2020 <laughs> I'm totally glad for that about that but yeah you should if you especially the close ones uh, you should really talk to them uh, about what's bothering you or and if they can't really understand it are they really close to you and they can't fully understand it. they can't they can't be you uh, but they they t definitely they should get the chance about understanding uh, what uh, your chronic illness is about uh, or what's uh, bothering your day or that, what, why, uh, what kind of obstacles you need to get through to get through your day. Um, and that's why people with chronic illness should definitely <laughs> decide to be in politics and uh, set up the rules about who drive or drive the country in some way because they definitely understand what's the, the difficulties getting through your day. But yeah, I hope you have a good day uh, and that you have one of your good days and that people understand you.